Well, good evening. Welcome to our service of Compline on a day in which we've had our patronal harvest festival and a communion to boot. What a blessing. Communion, harvest and St Francis. What a great combination. Let's take a moment to think of what the day has been for us. And let's come before the Lord, inviting his presence, the indwelling of his Holy Spirit and all, all that this day has been as we prepare ourselves to go to bed in readiness for yet another day. Let's just take a moment. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we come before the Lord in silent reflection on the day that is coming to its close, as we think of all the day has been. The good, the bad, the ugly, the things for which we are grateful and the things for which we are sad. Let's come into his presence with our confessions, our sorries and our thank yous. we say together most merciful god we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought word and deed and in what we have failed to do forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in christ amen O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Red underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 104 Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey, and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. 
When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure for ever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Psalm 134 Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth, give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 9 You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Father, we bring the blessings given and received this day before you, for the places and the things in which we have been able to bless in your name in your strength as your people we thank you for those blessings we have received we give thanks also you have touched us you have caused others to reach and to bless to encourage and to show your presence in some of the most unexpected places often so we thank you for the unexpected blessings especially for those we have wounded this day having asked forgiveness we pray that you would bring healing to those we may have wounded and for those who have wounded us we pray that you would heal and as we forgive them Lord you would strengthen and change them Lord, on this day when we have come before you to pray, to celebrate the harvest. Father, we thank you that Jesus refers to the Godhead, the 
God the Father as Lord of the harvest. And Father, as the seasons change, as the blessings come, Father, we thank you that harvest and the food that we have, the foods from the fields, the food from the animals that farmers labour with, the food that comes from the fish, a harvest we so often take for granted and ignore. Father, we thank you that along with the harvest that is food, there is a bigger harvest. For Jesus went through all the towns and villages teaching in the synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the people, he had compassion on them, because they were broken and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. So he sent his disciples, saying, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into this harvest field. Father, we pray that we, your church, would go, that we would harvest this plentiful harvest. Father, we bring before you the people of our families, our communities, our friends, our colleagues, those we just encounter by chance. For Lord, within them, within every person, there is a spiritual need. As Blaise Pascal said in Ponce, inside every person is a God-shaped vacuum waiting to be filled. And when that vacuum is filled, my Lord, we thank you that the harvest is rich. So we pray for those who are far off. We pray for those, Lord, on this harvest day. For the harvest that is your provision for us in terms of foodstuffs, staff of life. But Father, we pray you would bring about that harvest which is your blessing, which is the realisation that Jesus died, that we might have eternal life and be reconciled with the Godhead, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, that this harvest is a blessing for all. So Father, we thank you for the things today that we have, for the gifts today that we have. Lord, Lord of the harvest, the one who guides our hands to work, our feet to move, to approach others, to make him known all that we are. Father, we thank you that the yearly harvest has gone and now. We are left with the harvest which we can reap every day. Father, raise your church. Cause it to be a people who sow seeds, who water them, and regardless of who gets to harvest them, to work in consort, in unity with all believers. To build not a physical building, not to fill a physical building, but to build a spiritual body, the Bride of Christ. Lord, help us to save those around us from the awfulness that is separation from you, known as Father God. The worst thing of all, hell. For surely that's what hell is, to not know you and to be separated from you. Father, help us to bring heaven and eternity into the people's lives around us. And may we 
bring about a wonderful harvest. The fishermen were told they would be fishers of men. Lord, make us harvesters of all people. So Lord, visit this place, we pray. Drive far from it the traps and the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. May your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. With the words our Saviour Jesus gave us, we are bold, we are confident to pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. So thank you for being with us this night. As you go to your beds, may you sleep the sleep of the just. May you wake as people who are willing and ready and able to live, to love to encounter all in the name of Christ. Take care, sleep well, bless you guys. Thanks for being with us.